Welcome back to project3dprint.com Today we're going to be assembling a really cool little project This is a portable Bluetooth stereo speaker Something which everybody can get a lot of use out of You can connect your iPhone or other Bluetooth device to it And stream your music It's got two uh, 3 watt speakers which give out some really good sounds So let's get started on the project First of all let's take a look at the printed parts for this project if you haven't already downloaded and printed these parts, jump onto project3dprint.com where you'll find links to STL file downloads and you'll also be able to purchase the electronics kit for this project. So we've only got two parts in this project. We have our main case here and we also have our lid or the bottom which covers and closes the case. This main case here is a fairly straightforward print. It is a big print though. Uh, this took about 10 hours to print. Um, key thing here, being a larger part, and this is the, the bottom, is on your bed here, is making sure that you have very good adhesion. If you've got a heated uh, glass bed, obviously that'll be of great benefit to you. Otherwise, if you don't, make sure that you're using tape or what other method that works well for you and your printer. There's a couple of areas of support material that will need to be taken out. Um, firstly, this main head unit area here needs to be removed, very straightforward. And then it'll also, a little bit of support material will be printed through the center of these speaker ports here. Um, again, very easy to remove. Just make sure when you're removing it not to damage these uh, little speaker protector areas here. Secondly, we have the lid. This is actually the bottom of the speaker. Um, again, very straightforward print. Just again, making sure you've got good adhesion when you're printing on the print bed to make sure that it doesn't warp or curl. So just quickly looking at the details of these parts. We've got our head unit area in here. Slides in the front for this cavity. We have our battery cavity at the back here, which takes two 18650 lithium ion batteries. Uh, and we have our two speaker ports on each side and these speakers clip into features uh, inside here and obviously our, we've got just a sliding bottom which slides and clicks into place as so we've also got a nice little feature on the top here just if you're using this as a bedside speaker or or whatnot you can actually just sit your sit your phone in the top there as a little holder as well. Next let's just have a quick look at the electronic parts in this kit. First of all we've got our little head unit here. The head unit also comes with a little remote which is quite handy. We've got our two speakers, two 3 watt speakers. We've got our 18650 lithium ion battery holders. We've got our two batteries, the ones in your kit, uh, 2500 milliamp hours each, which will um, make sure that you get plenty of plenty of hours of of listening to your tunes without needing to recharge the unit. The unit simply recharged with a mini USB cable, can be plugged into any 5 volt output. And lastly, we just have our little speaker uh, wire connectors and power supply connectors here. You'll get a set of these. You'll only need to use three of them. So you can keep the rest of them for future projects if need be. So the first thing that we need to do is take both of our speakers and our battery holders and connect each of them to a wire with the connector on the end. So what we're doing here is simply attaching the black wire to the negative terminal on the speaker as a little minus sign and the red wire will be attached to the positive terminal. It's best to solder these on but if you don't have a soldering iron and don't want to you can just strip a little bit more plastic off the, off the wire there and just twist them onto the terminals.
So we need to do the same for our other speaker. I've already done that earlier. So we've got our two speakers all connected and ready to go. Likewise, we need to take our battery holders and our cable and attach the terminal cable to our battery holders. Now these two batteries are connected in parallel enabling us to keep our 3.7 volts which the batteries provide. So in doing that all we have to make sure is that all our three red wires are twisted together and likewise all our three black wires are twisted together as well, joined together. You'll note that when you get these battery holders that they actually have the wire coming out through a little hole on the end there. For this application we actually need to feed it through feed it back through and there's a little slot at each end you need to feed both red and black wires through that slot before you join all your wires together. So I've already done that to these ones here as you can see so we just want to grab our three black terminals, black wires, twist them together, and likewise our three black wire, uh, sorry, three red wires, and twist those together as well. And you know, it's a good idea just to add a little bit of solder to those connections as well. So once you've applied a little bit of solder to those, it's a good idea just to get a little bit of electrical insulating tape as well and just cover each join up just to avoid any chance of possibly shorting out the batteries, which we definitely don't want to happen. The batteries do have a, for this kit, do have a short circuit and overcharge protection in them, which is good. Because they have the overcharge protection, they are a little bit hard to get into these battery holders because they're a little bit longer, but they do fit just nice and snug, that's all. So that we have our battery holders all ready to go. Next we can start assembling everything into our printed parts. This is very easy. So we take our case. First of all we want to take each of our speakers. We just want to feed feed the terminal wire through. There's a little gap in the bottom, a little hole in the bottom there. Just feed that through into the cavity where the head unit's going. Now you'll see here there's little clips on each side of the speaker port. So this speaker will just clip, just gently position it and click it into place like so. So once you've got your two speakers in place clicked in, you just want to grab your two battery holders. Likewise there's a little hole in here that you can just slide that connector through. Just grab it with your fingers and you can even just pull it. It's easier if you just pull it right out the front ready to connect to our head unit. So these, each of these battery holders just sits in a little seat as you'll see and it just clicks in under a little a little clip there like so. Next we want to take our little head unit and attach our three plugs so we have our battery and then our left and right. So this being upside down here, this is our right hand plug here in my left hand. And you'll see here 
that corresponds with the metal terminal R minus and R plus. So these just click into place like so. Likewise, I want to take our other speaker. that into place and lastly our power supply coming from our batteries which corresponds to the end red terminal on the circuit board just gently push that into place as well so next we just want to insert our head unit we need to flip it over so it's up the right way and you'll need to angle this in in order to get it through the slot and then just gently push and it's quite a snug fit there there are actually two little screw holes to pre-print it as well if you wanted to add a couple of little screws as well just to definitely make sure it doesn't come out next we want to install our two batteries making sure you get the polarity correct Like I mentioned, these are quite a, sn a snug fit. Another one. Like so. We've got our speakers, battery holders and batteries, and our head unit all inside our printed case. Lastly, you can just simply slide our bottom lid on, that clicks into place, and there we have our finished Bluetooth speaker. So just a quick rundown on how to then connect and operate your unit. Simply turn it on at the front, get a nice little hello message and the default is for it to be on a Bluetooth so we take our phone go to our settings Bluetooth and it's this device here with a weird name ZTV blah 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 we just click on that wait for it to pair with the device and you'll get a little audio tone telling you it's then connected. So there you go, it comes with a little remote as well, as well as being able to be controlled from the panel, front panel. You know, just, the remote's just got some basic functions on it. And as mentioned before, it's just charged via a mini USB port on the front here which you can connect to either USB port on your computer or any other 5 volt uh, charging device. So thanks for watching Project 3D Print. I hope you enjoy your new little Bluetooth speaker and check back soon to project3dprint.com for new and exciting projects.